The Darlington Refurbishment Project has successfully accomplished the world's first combined pressure tube and calandria tube removal. This work is the last major removal series of Unit 3's reactor core components. During the Darlington Unit 2 reactor's refurbishment, 480 pressure tubes and 480 calandria tubes were removed from the Kandu reactor separately. While first removing the pressure tubes, spacer components between the tubes would often become separated and posed a radiological safety challenge. The flasks with the pressure tubes were then transported to the on-site volume reduction facility. Next, the calandria tubes were removed separately, also placed in flasks, and also transported for processing. The whole process took 78 days. For Unit 3's refurbishment, OPG and its vendor partners designed and developed new tools and procedures that made combined removal of both the pressure and calandria tubes possible. A specially designed gripper pulls the tube sets towards the flask, while a ram supports and pushes from the opposite side of the reactor calandria vessel. It takes two tons of push force and five tons of pull force and one awesome team to remove one set of tubes. Both the pressure and calandria tubes are transported in one 14,000 kilogram flask for volume reduction and processing in an on-site facility. Removing both tubes together reduces flask hoisting and transportation by half. And by containing the spacer components, radiation exposure for personnel performing the work was significantly reduced. Thanks to the dedication of the team, the work was completed on schedule and the total duration for pressure and calandria tube removal was reduced by more than 30 days compared to the previous removal approach. This new removal technology, along with lessons learned, will be used on the remaining two units of Darlington's refurbishment, reducing the overall project duration by three months. It's another innovation that establishes Ontario power generation as a world leader in the nuclear industry. Once completed in 2026, the four-unit Darlington refurbishment will deliver 30 more years of clean power and help OPG and the province achieve its future net zero goals.